The only thing though is Brandon's last fight against Kakara, man. He man. wasn't looking too good. He was not looking too good up until the finish. First off, like this video and subscribe. We got Figueredo versus Moreno. A 56% of people think Moreno will win, so he got a slight oh, edge. God. I hope he don't win. Why? It'd be horrible for the division. It'd still be terrible because I'm Davidson, gonna say why, Davidson, nobody in the, no other flyweight with the exception of Amir, I think in, in, uh, in yeah, Muhammad. He, yeah, he got and they, to work his way to that. I don't think nobody want to see Muhammad fight nobody the way he fight. In, but it's like nobody else can beat Davidson. So Davidson, even if Brandon Moreno, even if he beats Davidson, Davidson will fight for the belt again. It's weird because it's like Davidson will be essentially kicked out of his own weight class that he was dominant in. I don't think he'd be kicked out of it. I just think but no, they'll, they'll, be, be, they'll be continue. They'll be fighting more. No, nah, this is fine. This is it. They don't, he, no, they, Davidson got two wins over him. How's that fight? It's over. After this, it's game over. Whoever loses this fight, loser goes home. I mean, loser leaves town. You can't say you can't say that. I'm saying this has been confirmed. Like Dana was like, he say a lot of stuff, man. Look, we ain't gonna go there because I know we, we can make a whole video. Well, he say one thing and we're not, we not gonna go there. But uh, no, I'm saying it's not like Max versus Volkanovski where Volkanovski won three times. Yeah. This is different because it's they over. go back and forth. It's over. Dana White I said, think, honestly, it's over, yeah, I know. this this is over. Let me let me look here. Uh, let me see. And Dana has said it to promote the fight because because people don't want to watch this. <laughs> so you gotta say something for people to watch it. Let's see here. It's over, man. They can't. They they can't. And then it's like it's weird. You keep giving Brandon Moreno chances, but he took the first fight on short notice, so he really he really got that one because of convenience. And it was a good fight. And then he got it. He got a rematch in a fight, which that was fair because he did take the fight on short notice. So it's like giving him a fight with a full training camp. But then he actually won that when he finished Davidson. So I think Brandon has a big opportunity here. He has a big opportunity because it's kind of unfair. I think if he wins, but at the same time, like it kind of benefit him more than Davidson. So I think he has a big opportunity because then if he win this one, but the winner, what's it called, winner take all, he get to take all, and it's like man, that means nothing matters that Davidson did in the past. All gone, all for nothing. The only thing though is Brandon's last fight against Kakara, man. He man. wasn't looking too good. He was not looking too good up until the finish. In the beginning, it was straight because they was both was at home. Yeah. But then, at some point, yeah. Kyle Carl France was making it very clear that he was better. You want to tell what he did wrong? What Kyle Carl did was, was it the second round when he took Brandon down? One round, he took Brandon down, and he was just on top of him for the rest of the round. The sequence before he got caught with the kick, he went for a takedown and got stuffed. And then right after that, he got caught with the body kick. It's like, bro, what are you doing? You got one takedown. You think you're going to continue taking Brandon Moreno down for more rounds? You had to. Dude, what are you doing? Man, it was a five round fight and he was just trying to get the edge. I said the takedowns would weigh so heavily going into but that's a full his, 25 minutes. That's not his game. I understand what you're saying. No, but, but he just secured a round. Man, that's like gold. He just secured a round with that same thing. So it's like he going back to the well. But I, I, see, I didn't like that, man. Because uh, the reason why I didn't like that is I don't know. Something was awful Brandon in that fight, man. I don't know. I think it just got Carl's power. I think in the first round, he landed a right hand. And ever since then, Brandon was just shooting. Brandon won't nothing to do with the striking. So I think it's just because Kakara got all that knockout power, but something's just off. I think just, yeah, you you won that, what, second or third round when you was on top of Brandon, but you got to keep the fight standing up because he kept on shooting and he was going for them panic takedowns. But, it, it, but then it's weird because in that last fight, Davidson just beat Brandon up. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, Brandon had moments. moments, but Brandon definitely got beat up pretty clearly here. But then the fight before that, then Davidson got, got beat up. I know. Like he didn't show up. I think what happened is I think they they injured. The yeah. thing is, both of them had bad fights, and then they had a close fight. So I guess the quadruple, what is this called? Quadrilogy, one, man. I get, I think it's called a quadrilogy or whatever. It, it makes sense, but boy, is it stinking up the division. But I will say this: the flyweights don't have a lot of threats, so it, that's why it's almost like the division not really being stalled because. Outside of Kakara, France, and maybe there's a few people working their way up, but this I ain't this ain't holding up. Nothing. I think that's why they gave Charles Johnson that win over Zaugus because they need because they need the blood. Little blood in there. But now, if I'm looking at this fight, man, who gets it done and how? 
I'm gonna tell you this, man. I think Brandon has to get this fight to the ground. And Meadows is grappling. And I think Davidson, I think what helped him in the last fight is, for some reason, the first couple of fights, he was swinging and missing, just wasting energy. His last fight, well, their last fight, he was able to kind of tighten up his punches a little bit. And I think he fought a little bit smarter. And I think that might be enough for him to get the job done or actually make it close. But Brandon has to get his fights to the ground. Cause, but even when he submitted him, it's just like Davidson was just off. Because we never really just see people submit Davidson like that, man. Davidson is 21 and two. This dude has a phenomenal record, bro. Another thing is, who's more motivated, man? You can fight this person three times in a row, man. It's gotta be Brandon has to be the most, the more motivated person because he got more to win here. And and Davidson is playing defense to he, somebody. He didn't look motivated in the last fight. He looked like, well, I done won the belt already. And because he, he got, well, he got two belts. I think, I think low key, he felt like uh, he didn't have to, he shouldn't have had to fight Kai Car France. But I'm talking about to keep on this fight though. Yeah. Uh, no, Brandon no, 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 get... no, Brandon in his last fight against Davidson, that's what I'm saying. Oh, my he didn't look too motivated in the fight. And that's, that's what I was saying. I don't know if he won, because he got belts already. He already got, what, two belts? He got a couple of belts, of flyweight belts at home. So sometimes fighters win the championship belt and like they just lose motivation. But I, I feel like him losing it helped him realize, nah, nah he I got to get it back man. and hold it. Davidson, Davidson built for this, man. <laughs> Brandon is too, man. But Brandon, what, he was the first Mexican champion? He didn't achieve that already, man. So it's like, what else? But now he got to get it back because now you up there and you get the Canelos and not everybody giving you props and you a global star. You want that back, you know? I'm looking at the the uh, percentage of wins here. Davidson has 43% of his wins by KO. Brandon has 40% of his wins. I mean, fifth. Brandon has 58% of his wins by submission. Brandon has to get this fight to the ground. You have to get this fight to the ground. I know that's easier said than done, but... You're not finna win on the, on the feet. And th this is something else I'm noticing. Davidson lands one knockdown per 15 minutes. They fighting for 25 minutes here. So that means that he gonna at least get one and a half knockdowns on Brandon. This is a fact. This is gonna happen. He's done it before. But we see him hurt Brandon before and not. But also he hurt Brandon and he was always trying to finish him with hands instead of going for a submission. And I'm not talking about the guillotine, but Brandon is so well rounded that he's he's just tough to finish at this stage of the game. But Brandon, a lot of his success largely came from him getting takedowns, even in that first fight. So he got to get this fight to the ground. Let's see the strikes landed per minute. It's about similar significant strikes, leaning more towards Davidson. With 55%, Brandon has 39. Strikes absorbed. It's almost the same. The defense is almost the same. The grappling. But oddly enough, Davidson go for more submissions. If Davidson lose, he gonna have to. Uh, he gotta pack his bag and leave his Davidson, own. If Davidson lose, he gonna have to join the women's MMA. <laughs> like he gonna have to do something, bro. That's so odd that you gotta fight this person, and until they beat you essentially and take your belt and you go home, like it's so weird. But ultimately, man, who who you picking and how for a final pick? You know, I'm picking. I'm picking Davidson by decision. And it ain't Brazil too. Man, uh, Brandon just don't look, he didn't look motivated against Kakar. And so, and then what's going on with James Cross now, man? It's just, no, man, I don't think the timing was just bad. But Brandon, he he achieved greatness, he won his belt. Well, he didn't win his belt, he won the belt. Uh, he and champion now. I think that's just where uh, it ends, that's where the role ends. I don't know, man, because sometimes Davidson make these bad decisions and fights that kind of. Other people can't necessarily capitalize on, but I think Brandon been in there so many times with him that it's odd, man. For some reason, man, I would like to pick Brandon if I knew what his game plan was. If if I knew Brandon was gonna stick to a wrestling heavy game plan and really be going for a submission, I would pick Brandon. But man, I just think Davidson is different, man. This was exciting for the division. It was good for Brandon and everything he achieved, but. I really don't, I'm not counting him out, but I'm picking low confidence. I'm going with Davidson just because he's the man and he's not really getting his respect. One loss and he's not getting no type of respect, man. Yeah, because his first loss came 
against against Brandon. No, his first loss came came against the guy who kept on taking him down uh, in the UFC. Who's the year for me? Go, you remember who's the oh, year no, kept on taking him down? Yeah. And it was like, oh man, it was hard. It was hard to watch. So his second loss in the UFC. So who are you picking final? Uh, Davidson, low level confidence by decision. Oh, man, I think I'm gonna have to pick. I'm gonna have to pick Davidson too, man. But I, I definitely Davidson got to win this fight because the thing is, I think after I think if he could beat Brandon Moreno, I think it gets easier because whoever fight him, that, just imagine him versus a Kakara. He, he's lapping the division. Easy, after yeah. No, none of these guys can beat him, man. Other than like if a, Brandon get the belt, Brandon might defend it once or twice before he loses it, and then Davidson will be the champion. Again. But I'm gonna tell you this though, I think these other guys like the Emirs and the Muhammads, they got a better chance beating Brandon Moreno than Davidson. Oh, you're right. That's what I was saying. That's I was thinking about this man because Davidson, man, like I'm, they don't even sign their contract. But against Brandon, for some reason, I just think he a little bit more beatable, well, a lot more than just yeah, a little bit more beatable. Yeah, then yeah, because I guess because they're wrestlers, man. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to pick Davidson because yeah. it's like even if Brandon get the belt, one or two top defense, he might not have a belt by the end of the year. Yeah, man. Davidson might arguably still have a belt. I think it's his inconsistency, Brandon Moreno. Cause he got six what? losses for a reason, man. Yeah, man. So, 